Time now for our Africa 54 Health Report and joining us now is Africa 54 Health Correspondent Lino Mudu with a look at the link between alcoholism and the holiday season. Lino. Hello Vincent. While well, alcohol is often the drink of choice for special occasions, with the holiday season comes opportunities to celebrate. For many people, this means drinking more alcohol than usual. As a result, some people may suffer alcohol overdose. Furthermore, high blood alcohol levels increase the risk of irregular heartbeat, heart attack, and stroke. The University of California, San Francisco says in 2010, the San Francisco Emergency Department reported that 70% of its emergencies on New Year's Eve were for alcohol intoxication. The National Institute on Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism says two to three times as many people die on Christmas and New Year's in car crashes caused by alcohol than during comparable periods throughout the rest of the year. Joining us live via Skype from San Diego, California to talk about alcohol intoxication is George Kub, director of the National Institute on Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism. Dr. Kub, welcome to the show. Thank you. Good to be on. Let, let me ask you this. When we talk about alcohol abuse, can you give us a sense of when alcohol becomes a problem in the blood, meaning like looking at blood alcohol content and impairment levels? Can you g just give us an idea? Well, it, generally we ascribe to the notion that for a woman, any more than three drinks in a two-hour period, and for a man, any more than four drinks, will lead to a blood alcohol level between 0.06 gram percent or 0.08, which is the legal limit in the United States for driving under the influence. And so when you get into the range of those kind of drinks, three drinks for a woman, four drinks for a man, you're reaching a level where uh, all kinds of bad things happen. So bad things happen. I mentioned earlier, you know, fatal accidents and, and, and that other issues. What are some of the frequent uh, perhaps challenges that we see around the holiday season, given that it's a time for a lot of drinking? Well, I think most people do fine, but in many cases, individuals don't realize how much alcohol they have in their drink. So uh, one of the things we have on our website, which anyone in the world can access, is a is a site called Rethinking Drinking. And in that site, you can go in and calculate how much alcohol is actually in your favorite drink. A standard drink in the United States is about five ounces of wine. That's five ounces, um, you know, 12 ounces of beer and 1.5 ounces of, of a distilled beverage. Um, and, and many, many times it, when you, especially when you add alcohol to, to a sweetened uh, drink, you don't realize how much alcohol is in there, and then suddenly you stand up and you, you feel very tipsy. And when we look at some of the tips that you, you're sharing for people to, for responsible drinking, what about the host? Is there a responsibility that the hosts have in terms of ensuring that people are, are not over drinking over the limit? Yes, absolutely. So uh, hosts can do a lot of things that can help uh, in this regard. So number one, they can have plenty of alternate beverages around. And one of the great things, one of the good things to do is to alternate between, you know, your favorite alcoholic beverage and maybe some water or, or sparkling water or, or any kind of non-alcoholic drink. The other is to have food around. So food in the stomach blunts the absorption of alcohol so you don't get as tipsy as quickly. And very, and, uh, okay, so quickly to conclude, been... to conclude, sorry, Dr. Coop, to conclude, uh, some quick tips for responsible drinking this holiday. Well, that's some of them. So pace yourself and then have a designated driver. I mean, that's something we advocate in the United States. Uh, and I know they do in Europe as well. So have someone who's not drinking, it's going to be doing the driving or use Uber or a taxi or whatever service you wish. So, you know, pace yourself have some food on your stomach, and get a designated driver. Those are our major tips for the holiday season. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Tu. We appreciate your time. Oh, you're most welcome. Great. And that was George Koob. He's the director of the National Institute on Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism. And that's our health report for today. To stay in touch, find me on Twitter, at Lina and stay safe out there with the alcohol. Back